Hello and welcome to a Southern Model Railways update video. Just a quick one today to show you a sticking point I had, quite literally, uh, and maybe some uh, a little bit of shunting after that. Cheers. So the uh, first problem I had when I was wiring up the track was that the decoder for these two points failed and then I think another one failed. I don't know what was going on. I couldn't work it out. I left it for a week or two. Uh, I thought I'd actually run out of stationary decoders, but I found another one and I've installed it and it works fine. So I don't really know what the problem is. I don't know if I've burnt out both of those decoders or not, um, but it's working now. So that part of the goods yard is now wired in and, and serviceable, usable. And yeah, and actually just as I was about to set up and uh, run some trains, the this point motor, I just trimmed off the, I'm going to point, you see in there there's a, that's the arm for the motor, I just trimmed it and it had managed to pull the arm right out of the um, mechanism of the seat point motor and it's broken so I've just had to replace that um, and I you know, really have used up all my point motors and decoders from my old layout. Um, so yeah, I've kind of put some wagons on, let's have a little actually just grab the bridge I'll just do a panning shot along let's move something out of the way just a panning shot along the line oh, here we go go end to end. So as I said, um, I'm going to shunt those vans up to the good yard hopefully. Let's see what happens. Do you know what? Fuck this. <laughs> so update part two. Uh, I think I'll edit this to show how far I got with shunting in the goods yard. Um, which that was on Friday night. Um, I've had a kind of a busy weekend but I've done a little bit out here. Um, and yeah, I've, um, I'll give you a little update of that. So it's kind of a this is part two of the update. 
Hopefully this will edit together and make some sense. Thanks. <laughs> Probably not. It's been a long day. So let's start at this end. And I've kind of made some sort of platforms. Uh, I'm not totally happy. They're 18mm MDF. They're probably a little bit high. And obviously these are just the base. The, they'll be sort of, the front will be clad with uh, probably brick sheet, whatever the style of the platform is at lid. I haven't really paid much attention to that part of it yet, but obviously I'll scratch build some fronts to the station and put ramps at the end. And obviously there's room for the station buildings at the back. Um, but then obviously it's got sloped down to that level of that good deal. It's going to be quite a steep slope. It's not perfect. It's not what the real thing is like. But all railways are about compromise. That's just an off cut that I put there to pretend to be the uh, cattle pens. But anyway, yeah, I've got some uh, the start of some platforms. Now, you know, I had to use the MDF I had, so not only has it got the gap the, between the baseboards, but I had to kind of bodge it a bit. Bodge it in Scarpa. But it doesn't look too bad. Uh, my only other issues is they're a bit wobbly. Not happy about that. Now, what can you do? Um, so yeah, um, that's that end. Let me show you the other end. So at this end, I uh, got some offcuts of cardboard of a friend, and I've kind of made some bases basically. So this is what I will build my scenics up for. Uh, so it's all pretty simple really, it's basically just some cardboard laid down but rather than being an open frame it just makes it nice, still a little bit different, you know, look, looking a little bit more like it will do. Obviously I haven't put an embankment around that side. What I actually do is I'm going to have the, so this will come down to a field uh, which will probably be at a level between the two of the that you see here the railway level and this flat level in front of you and um, I'll have a, like a drainage ditch so that's hopefully how it'll be um, I'll see about that. yeah I just think it sort of sets it off a little bit better I'll just mask and take you down what I usually do for my um, scenery sort of so if that's the base layer the next layer I'm going to uh, use some builders plaster bond bonding plaster which or whatever it's called um, I'm not really one for these kind of sculpt mold cost you hundred pounds to do two square foot I'll buy a big bag of plaster in bond for a tenner and it will last month for this layer and a million more and yeah just I think it really gives a good finish you can get it nice and smooth you can get it a bit bumpy but it will cover up all this masking tape and um, cardboard and look really good so yeah that's that end okay so we run a few trains or at least try to didn't do very well the other night 